Sarah, come on, we're losing light. I'm coming. If you could just wait, I'm talking to myself. If you could just hold the fuck on, Joseph. Shut up, Jake! Hey there, hi there, hi there, everyone. I am Shut Up James. How are you? How is you? How are you doing? I'm feeling under the weather, but um, inspired. Now we've reached the conclusion of our found footage February. It's been a fun ride. And since we started the month with the 2015 horror film Creep, what better way to end than with the 2017 sequel, Creep 2? Now I'm not really sure where this sequel is gonna go. The first movie was basically a love triangle between Joseph, Aaron, and Peach Fuzz. And I'm pretty sure Peach Fuzz uh, came out on top. It ended with us seeing that Joseph has like hundreds of tapes. He has murdered hundreds of people. So are we going to dive into one of those tapes? Is this going to be a follow-up to the first one and maybe have Angela, who is his sister? Or Aaron in the first movie mentions having an ex. Is the ex looking for him? Literally sky's the limit. Sorry, talking makes like my throat is like fire. Flames, flames on the inside of my throat. Breathing. Breath, heaving breath. Now, before I go any further, if you love watching scary movies, then you should probably subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you can be reminded of when I do these ridiculous things. Find me on Instagram to check out my movie collection or, and or, you could do both. Click the link below for my Patreon to actually get the full length versions of these movie reactions. I'm really hoping my voice does not give out in the middle of this reaction, but I didn't want to put off watching it any longer. Now I've got my hot tea and I've got my throat coat, what's it called? Sore throat, whatever, this stuff. And some tissues in case, I don't know what's happening. I just don't know what's going on. <laughs> so without further whatever, this is my reaction to the 2017 horror sequel, Creep 2. Let's see how many times I have to turn the volume down this time. When I watched the first one, I had to keep doing it. I watched like Mungo, I had to keep turning the volume down. I'm so sorry for the sipping and the drinking and like the spraying of this throat numbing stuff. Okay, I'm excited to see where this goes. What if it takes place like during the events of the first one, you know? Hey, did he send him a recording camera? Like a camera that's recording? Is that the guy from Deadpool? I'm like waiting for an axe to just come out of nowhere and bop because like that's what Joseph be doing. You look troubled. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. You look troubled. No one says that. Those calls and uh, I had that DVD sent to me. Oh no. It's, it's happening again. You in danger, girl. He, so he's not a one-trick pony. He like he goes about this in many different ways. I, I already called the police the last time, and, and, and nothing happened, okay? They said uh, they wouldn't... Well, that's unconscionable. No, that's they, unconscionable. They it's unconscionable. <laughs> Even Joseph thinks this is unconscionable. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. No, no, good. um... He's like, just don't touch me. It's fine. He's like, just get your hand off my neck. Just get your hand off my neck. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I love that the first movie also played with your perception. It played with the audience a lot, and this one is doing it already. <clears throat> this is great, isn't it? Yeah. Two guys just hanging out, throwing back a couple of cold ones. He's so awkward. Oh, the cringe. Really wish I didn't have to say what I have to say to you tonight. <coughs> Come on, Dave. You and I both know there's a lot more at stake than that. And I can't help but think if we, if we aren't headed for greatness, then maybe we just end it right here. With your life, Dave. Dave, if I ask you a question, would you answer me honestly? Don't, 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 don't do it. We met right around the same time you received your first DVD in the mail. Dave, you just thought about it. I didn't, I swear. Dave, listen to me, it's okay, okay? Everything that's about to happen to you here tonight is okay and it's not your fault. You understand me? I was gonna record our entire relationship and commemorate it with a beautiful 80 minute film. And you deserve that. <laughs> You're so bad, but... What's under the table? No, 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 no. Because ever since I turned 40, I don't know what's happening to me, Dave. I just... Run, Dave, run. I don't even know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> I am 
shooketh. What's happening to me? You're a psychopath who is bored. Have a drink. It's interesting, they added music. It's found footage, but they added music. Wait, did the first one have? I don't know. Desiree. Oh, so are we gonna get a female uh, protagonist? I wonder how the dynamics change with it being a woman versus a man. Although he seems to, whoever he's filming, he loves them uh, wholeheartedly. Sorry, I just, <laughs> this numbs my throat and um, I need it, it's necessary. I'm Sarah, welcome to Encounters. Tripping on acid. Sarah. Hey Sarah, how you doing? I hope you don't mind, I brought my camera. You don't mind, Marilyn Monroe already lives on the wall. <laughs> Where else is she gonna live? Okay, so this makes a little this more sense. This place has a cold energy to it. Oh, it is a cold. Most of the spirit pots that I build deflect that cold energy. Yeah, deflect it. We don't need that negativity. Not in 2024, not in 2017 either. A little jealous. Maybe a little we're all jealous. a little bit weirder than we give ourselves credit for. I am. You never know who you might meet on the next. It's okay. Yeah. Encounters. Encounters. That's an interesting idea for like a podcast kind of situation. Oh, I love that we're watching. Little her baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. No. Nine views. Awesome. That's it. I feel like you should get more. This is Sarah. The glow. The glow is real. Glowing. G. Starting to realize why nobody is watching. It's because. It sucks. Girl, we tune in for you and your personality and that purple ass hair. I think I might be deeply untalented. No, you have a great idea. I just told you you have a great idea. You gotta keep at it. Just keep at it. That there was a loneliness that I could detect that I really empathized with. Did you not? Did you not get that from these people? I picked it up, just watching. But I thought at least I would be able to reach some other weirdos and make something special for them. Oof. You're in Creep too, so you will be reaching some weirdos. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> you dumb shits. Mm -hmm. for videographer. Thousand dollars for the day. Honesty and emotional bravery a must. Let's go deep together. Oh, Joseph. I'm wondering if because Aaron was such a bitch in the first movie, if they're going to give us like the Terrifier, Terrifier 2 situation, where in the first one, the characters are very like caught off guard, aloof, whatever, as they should be. But in the sequel, it's like full on badass. And I kind of see Joseph as being untouchable because of what happened in the first movie. So maybe we, maybe she fucks him up. Uh, Angela. Fuck it. Oh, I thought she was gonna make up a name. So the last house was rented, so I'm wondering where this is now. And I've been driving three hours now. I mean, for $1,000 a day. <sighs> okay. I was gonna say, we're expecting a jump scare from behind her, like in the first one. Normally this is where I tell you that I'm gonna go see John, a mid-level manager at Walgreens, and that we're gonna work through his mommy issues through, I don't know, synchronized swimming or some shit. Yeah. But how else, how else would you? He's uh, been ghosting me since he sent me his address. Red flags. But maybe that's why this show has been sucking so much. So let's see what happens. Girl, the show doesn't suck. You just have to wait, choose different thumbnails. There's a face on that tree. Okay, so this house is a different house. He'd just be renting houses. Disposable income. Hello? Run. You would have heard her say hello. You would have heard her say hello. That started after she walked into the house. Green smoothie? Okay. Okay. Two pinches of spirulina and one pinch of cinnamon. Spirulina is good for you. Cheers. Cheers. Who are you? It's the beard. It's also poisoned. Longer hair. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. <laughs> <coughs> wow, that's your real name. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Can we start with a hug? Okay. No, Sarah. Are there timestamps? I should be looking for timestamps. People don't really believe in that. You gotta keep the camera on if you want to keep the magic. I mean, would it, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a nice camera, by the way. Are you a filmmaker by trade? 
I love that he's playing a different character each time. Like him with Aaron was not him with David. It's not him with Sarah. Like he's this, kind of this eccentric, smoothie drinking. I am what is presumptuous, pretentious known as a serial killer. Oh. I sort of consider myself a murderer, but uh, my numbers are such that I am now classified as a serial killer. Yes, I am a killer. I have killed 39 people. This is something that I love to do, but I'm also turning 40 this year, which is like, grazed in the beards, a lot of stuff happening. And but in the beginning, he said that he already turned 40. I would meet a man at a bar and I would take him outside and lay him on the floor and I would put a knife in his chest and, and <laughs> open his insides and the universe would reveal itself to me and it was beautiful. But now it, it's like a job. Don't you hate that? I read an article by the great Francis Ford Coppola. Here is a man who is in the middle of his artistic decline. Is he running from it? No, he's embracing it. Now, what if I make a documentary, and this is where you come in, mm -hmm. about the world's most prolific serial killer that no one knows about? Okay, Behind the Mask, Rise of Leslie Vernon. Paradise Lost. Found it. So if you want to bail, I completely understand. Take your money, no hard feelings. I understand. I will find you and kill you anyway. Firstly, I won't kill you over the next 24 hours. That would be counterproductive. Uh, what about after that 24 hours? I will rip myself open and let you see every last inch of me. Of my universe. I believe we will make magic. I believe in a thing called love. I'm into it. She said yes pretty quickly. Are you just saying you're into it because you want a job? No. I've heard you out, and I think this sounds great. Is he showing her? What am I looking at here? You'll see. He's my friend. <clears throat> mm. My head hurts just thinking about... Are we going to sit and watch the whole thing oh, again? Oh, Sarah. Sarah, watch the movie. <laughs> Don't be rude. Don't be crass. For all y'all talkers up in here. That's the Peach Fuzz song. I That's... Like a big bad wolf. Bum, 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 bum. I forgot that he like does a dance. I'm as friendly as a rabbit. What is she gonna do when she sees this? I don't wanna watch it again. Shit. Does she think it's fake? Oh, Aaron, you were so stupid and naive. I think it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Did you want it to scare me? Hmm. I'll be right back. Ooh, what if he like meets someone who all the crap that he does, she's not phased. You could leave. The door's right there. Yes. Go to sleep. Huh? Go to sleep. Oh, I'm filming. Yeah, I know. It's a short movie. Wow. Don't complain about not feeling well. We need to tear that wall down. Do you agree? I agree. That's weird. Okay. I just think it's important that if there is a wall and a gender divide, this is a spiritual journey, so we need to eradicate... I agree. Okay, then we're good. Is it my turn? I'm sorry? Uh... You can sit down. She's gonna make him uncomfortable? She doesn't shave her pits, that's good to know. Unafraid. I'll be right back. Get yourself a weapon, girl. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. He can still hear you, I think. You have to chase this. Sarah, come on, lose the light. I'm coming. If you could just wait. I'm talking to myself. If you could just hold the fuck on, Joseph. Nice. I'm coming. One minute. Welcome to Encounters. Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. <laughs> Stop! I could have dropped my croissant! Oh. Are you ready to go? Wow. Tough nut to crack. Aaron, come on. Really? He said his name is Aaron. Did I not pick up on that till 
Did I not pick up on? Oh my God, he's always the name of the previous person. Oh my God. So where did you grow up? What do you think about my mask? It's fine as long as you can see. Do you believe in God? It could complicate what you do for a living. You still haven't answered my question about my mask. I, I, I did though. I think it's cute. He's like, listen, you're gonna have to start acting scared because this shit's not working for me. Well, what if I told you that at the end of this road, I was going to cut off your head and snuggle it? Are you kidding me? No! Is that a term? Is that something we say? You're asking a lot of questions. Um, I'm sorry, I have a perfect idyllic spot picked out for this interview. Can we just, let's just save it, okay? Okay. Okay. Where's the fucking water? It, that's the water. No, no. Not right there. I was gonna be here, submerged in the water, up to my neck. This is, this is, uh. Never seen him, never seen him disheveled, you know. Aaron. What? Coppola. Coppola. Why are you saying Coppola? What? Aaron, Francis, Ford, Coppola. What would he do? Huh. <laughs> Interesting. None of my subjects have ever made me think before. That's really fucking smart. In a nondescript town. Sorry, what are you doing with your arms? If the visual effects of the water up here, this would be me just sort of floating uh. with it. You know what I'm saying? Visual effects. Gotcha. I don't think you need it. We don't need it? No. It makes sense. Airplane. It's a really slow airplane. How's the pony? Beautiful. Yeah? Yep. Would, would you mind coming out real quick and just give me a little... A little fix. Um, yeah. Fix where? I just said it was fine. Oh, I didn't want you to redo. Oh, that's what, okay. No, no problem. What do you want me to do? Like, why are we doing this then? But in a small tap. <laughs> tap. Little bird right there. Hold on. Want you to do it. I want you to do it. No, this is my movie. Joseph, Aaron, with the whoever with the animal cruelty. Cold War was. Aaron, just... I'm getting a lot of shadow on your face. <laughs> it's like she's doing it on purpose. Aaron? Aaron? You'll excuse me. Yeah, you're excused. I feel like he's gonna kill- is he gonna kill that bird? Aaron? We're gonna get an Aaron jump scare, right? I really hope he's not killing that bird. Aaron? It said J and D. I caught that on the tree. It said J plus D. So he's brought- I mean, he brings people to all these places and, and carves the, the initials. Is this how serial killers sleep? Uh -huh. Not what I asked for. It's not what I asked for. Don't leave. I won't. Is she gonna realize that she's a psychopath just like him by the end of this movie? Oh, that's what's been missing. I have to start killing people. He's kind of shut down since his tantrum at the river. He's so vulnerable right now. But at the same time, it would be so easy to go down there and provoke him. <clears throat> You are making a movie, girl. This movie's not gonna make itself, you know? This one's definitely much more fast-paced than the first one. Like, nothing has happened still, but like far less had happened up to this point in the first one. Is he even in there? He's like, I've been waiting for you. You told me once we got started, there was no turning back. Turning off your damn music. Turn that song back on. No. Why? Because I said so. Because it's my favorite song in the world, and I need it because I love it. I need it because I love it. Tell me about it. Sarah, I know what you're trying to do, and it's not gonna work. I know what you're doing. You self it. Don't do this. He's far more handsome with the long hair and the beard, by the way. I was 15 years old, but I could pass for 18 because I was big for my age. I could go to bars and see live music. Many hours later. Sarah loves her juicy fruit. And Aaron loves to kill. See, like, how much of this is true? Because he just said Aaron, and his name is not Aaron. It's actually a rare disease called trichotillomania. You know, when people pull hairs out of their beard or their scalp or even their eyebrows. Oh, I do that. Is that... There's a disease? That's a disease? I do it all the time from stress. My raison d'etre. And now... Raison... Right... D'etre... And that is why I have nothing to live for anymore. Aaron? Sarah. Stay right there. She's gonna get in. 
Just let him have this finale. Let him have his finale. You did it. You ended up thwarting the killer. Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart because they're not gay. I am very uncomfortable. Get off me. Hey, Sarah, it's me. Um, thank you doing what you just did. I think you are really special and I don't know what to do. Can you imagine if they just killed Sarah? I can't see that happening, but. Gosh, she's not even in there. Ew, carpet in bathrooms always is so weird to me. How do you feel? <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. Legit, needed to get all game of hide and seek. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all it takes sometimes. Where'd you go? I went away. I coming for you. <sighs> I'm so glad that they went in a different direction with this sequel. They could have easily done the same thing again and would have immediately been stale. <laughs> Aaron, if I ask you a question, will you answer honestly? Of course, always. What's your real name? When you're holding that axe, is there a part of you that wants to ram it into my face? Well, of course. Naturally. I think I always thought I was gonna die before I could share my work with anyone, but now I have you, which is kind of cool. Chop some more wood. We like a good transition. Do you feel remorse for the people you kill? Maybe a little bit, but I also... Just a smidge? I stuck an ax in a stump outside of the house I rented. He passed by it, he saw it, he came in anyway, and he stayed with me all night, you know? I mean, it, it's almost like... Like they want to die. Did you kill him with that ax? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. You watched, you saw. I promised I wouldn't kill you, and I never lie. Not in the cards for us. Never lie. They said you wouldn't kill me within the next 24 hours, so. Now why would you bring that up? Has it been 24 hours? What you doing? The dishes. You dumb shit. You're watching me do the dishes. I don't think she directed it. I just saw him. Um, just saw him wine. Thirsty. Oh, oh yes. Thirsty. This better be a couple of wine. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I'm thinking about this really cool book that I once read called The Journalist and the Murderer. Have you heard of it? No. Oh, it's really great. It doesn't exist, but you should read it. I thought about it while I was watching a little show called Encounters. Didn't know I knew about that, did you? I know a lot of things, Sarah. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to answer me honestly. This honestly answering of the question. Do you believe that I'm a serial killer? No. Good. Thank you for your honesty. Why not? If you were a killer, why would you invite me into your home and have me film you? It's like, what would stop me from going to the police with this? The fair point. You won't go to the police tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be dead. I'm very excited about it, okay? Practically elated. Why would I make my 40th film another random kill film? I, I made 39 of those, okay? The guy in the beginning, he told the guy in the beginning he already turned 40, so I feel like we are getting a prequel to that video and not realizing, you know? That you will do anything to make a great piece of art. Like he wants her to kill him and maybe she doesn't, so then the cycle just continues. What? First things first, put that camera down, girl! What are you doing? getting my ax and my peach fuzz mask to to attack you. What's with the mask, Aaron? And now you remember this is peach fuzz, the friend of the wolf. Here, give me the camera. Ugh, I look, I look this way. I feel like from the side I look not as, I feel bloated. Are you a lefty or you're a righty? Righty. Okay, you know what, it doesn't matter, just get into it. Doesn't matter, why ask? You want me to take this ax and chop your head off with it? Yes, 100%. Consider it an assisted suicide, it's totally cool. Totally cool. Cool. Totally. I've talked enough for ten lifetimes. Yeah, you have, Joseph. Wait, wait. Aaron. Woo! He knows she's not gonna do it. 
What's wrong? You rolling, Sarah? Yeah. You got your frame? Yeah. This video will have to have a trigger warning. Pretty cool, right? I mean, obviously, not as cool as putting an axe through my neck, but... That would be a lot cooler. Way cooler. Actually, to be honest, I don't Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you breathe? Aaron? Aaron! What are you doing? 24 hours is up, I have to go. Wait, are you, are you leaving? Please don't go, please. Do you have any idea how fucked up that was? He wants to get a rise out of her. Boy, what is it. wrong with you? Okay, boy, just give me- Allah, I've told you, Allah. What the fuck is this? It's a harness. It's what I was wearing underneath my shirt when I hanged myself. Look, I'm not really good at this, okay? But I'm just gonna lay it out there. Clearly. I'm just trying to connect with you. I'm not really doing a very good job. Mm -hmm. I think she does want to connect, but just not in these ways, Joseph, Aaron. Am I a murderer? Yeah. No. Oh no. I liked that he was telling her the truth. Now I'm convinced he's gonna kill her. I really like you. And I think you're- He finally, he finally got a rise out of her, so he's back into like his character. I'm super not a killer, so trust me, and I'm gonna kill you. Two lies and a truth. You play this game in your castle? Yeah. Okay, good. I was born three months premature. I have never slept with a woman. I can hold my breath for two and a half minutes. I think that it's the, the breath one. It's number two. <laughs> I don't know if I get like gay bi vibes from him, but I, I feel like he's infatuated with everyone that he encounters, male or female. Have you ever seen that movie Never Been Kissed? Yeah. I'm not Josie Grossy anymore! I could be your girlfriend if you don't freaking kill me at the end of this movie. Do you want to have your first kiss? Ooh, shit's about to get it on with Shakespeare! That's it. That's all she wrote. Knife! Stab! This one cuts to black a lot more than the first one did. My tea is cold and almost gone. All good things to those who wait, my dear. Mm, I'm scared. I don't want him to end up killing her. Why would I close my eyes? There's no fucking way I'm in the middle of nowhere at night with you. <laughs> Point taken. Yeah. My affection for you and- This is J plus A. This is the one you gave Aaron. I didn't have a chance to make one specifically for you. You were a bit of a surprise. Was he not planning on killing her originally? I'm just confused. He gives these gifts to people he kills. Oh shit. You in danger, girl. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be for me or for you, but I think I finally figured it out. It's for both of us. Oh! Are you ready for the grand finale of the episode? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> We both stab each other, and we both crawl in the grave, and we die together, like Romeo and Juliet. I'm not sure I'm interested in that. No, I am sure. I am not interested in that. <laughs> Come on. Do it. She's like, I didn't... I don't want to do that. Yeah. Sarah! My guy, you should have asked first, before committing to all the stabs, you know? Sarah! I thought that she hit him. You are wounded. You should be on the ground. <coughs> Come on, Sarah. Watch, she comes back with the peach fuzz mask and she's like, now I'll do it. I don't think she's behind the, is she behind this tree? <coughs> Wait, why does that keep happening? Is she hitting him? After all that, he just grabbed her and kills her? Did he not really stab himself? Was that fake? Did he fake her out again? Fake us all out? Watch, there's like a behind the, like a, like extra footage and you find out that they planned this for her show. Are they gonna do that thing that they psych us out where the camera pulls out and reveals that we're watching the footage like in the, the first movie? I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh. Oh. I want Sarah to jump up and get his ass. Good thing this is almost over because I'm struggling. No, he definitely stabbed her. I don't think I'm gonna die tonight. Change my mind. 
You did it. You made a great, great episode. I'm bummed you're not gonna be here to see it. Kill him. No, make sure he's dead. You gotta make sure he's dead. My Coppola. Does she release this as an episode? It can't be over. It's not over. Like, he's still out there. There she is. Wait, who's filming? Oh, no. Oh, because she ran away. That means that she would have left her camera. I would not have left the camera. I would have taken that camera and then ran. That's all your evidence. I feel like he's filming her right now. Stop it. We did it. We watched the 2017 found footage horror sequel Creep 2. That was more fun than the first. Maybe not as scary. They had a plethora of places they could have gone with this sequel, but it just made sense to have a protagonist who was the opposite of Aaron from the first movie. That's exactly what Sarah was. Um, It definitely took me some, for some twists and some turns. Oh, the music... Are we getting a, the music went off some money for getting like a post credits? Nope, just some songs. Is this the Peach Fuzz song? Cause I can't, I can't handle it if it is. Oh no, this is the Sarah, Sarah loves juice or something, right? Sarah loves that juicy fruit. Okay, sorry. Great performances, short and to the point. Kind of wanted a little more maybe in the third act. Well, that was it. Okay, there is nothing after the credits. Good to know. Um, except that banger of a song. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, find me on Instagram to check out my movie collection, and then click the link below for my Patreon if you want the full length version of these reactions, or if you want to help me pick which movies to watch. That all goes down on Patreon. Let me know down below what your favorite found footage movie is in general in life. I loved this theme for the month. I'm going to do more themes more often, I think, because this was a blast. I have been Shut Up James. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.